my channel, my life has taken some unexpected turns in 2020, leaving me picking up the pieces and pressing restart. I don't know what every day will hold, but I do know I'm just gonna wing it. Thank you so much to the patrons of my channel. You help make Winging It With Ash possible. Good morning or afternoon actually. I had high hopes of getting up early this morning and heading out on a hike. Uh, and then I started thinking, this is a solo trip and I don't have to be on anybody's schedule. So I'm going to sleep in and then head out on my hike in the hottest part of the day where there's like a bazillion people here. But nonetheless, today is going to be a solo adventure day. I started by going on a little bit of a road trip, about three hours. I took a wrong turn. It was supposed to take two, but it didn't matter because I'm on my time. <laughs> You guys don't have the America the Beautiful Pass? You do. And that works. If I purchase that here, it'll work. Okay, the American Beautiful so that I can go to other national parks. Thank you very much. Bye. National parks are not cheap. It seemed that it was about $30. $35 for a seven day pass for Mount Rainier National Park, or you could get a annual pass for around 55. But before I left, my dad reminded me that I should get the pass called America the Beautiful. This pass is good for all federal parks um, and you can get in and out of them. It's annual pass, so it's good for a year. And it was only 80 bucks. So only I don't know, what, 80, 30 more dollars to be able to have an annual pass to so many parks in the U.S., not just in Washington. So to me, that's worth it. You can have two different people's names on this pass. So my dad and myself will be using this this year, and I'm super stoked to have it because there are so many amazing hikes I can go on with this little guy. So in the parking lot, most people are wearing masks, but going on the trail, um, there are some with masks and some without. I'm gonna go without, because breathing heavy in a mask sounds awful. But we're starting at Sunrise. It's called Sunrise Visitor Center. It's so beautiful out here. There is a visitor center um, where they can help you out. They gave me a map handy dandy to make sure that I stay on the trail. Today I am doing the Mount Fremont Lookout Trail. It's supposed to take me to a fire lookout that overlooks Mount Rainier, which is going to be beautiful. I cannot wait to get there. It's about a little over a thousand um, elevation gain and it is 5.6 miles, but I talked to the ranger down at the station and she said I can make it a loop and add a half a mile or to do a loop and see new things. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's so hard hiking and holding this and talking at the same time while going up a mountain, but don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not tired yet. I just got started, people. I think he wants food. Oh 
mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm, a little piece of bread maybe. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to eat that. <laughs> Our secret guy. We're, we're gonna go tell the rangers. <laughs> yeah, run down What's there. What's your license, license plate number? She got to go. Okay, 100 percent shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have fed the um, wildlife. I know it's against the rules, people, but I couldn't help myself. It was so cute, and he wanted food, and I just ha happened to have a little piece of bread in my bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, so adorable. This hike. Actually, I, um, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes in and I can easily say the best hike so far that I've done. I think in Washington, I could easily say that. It's beautiful, it's so beautiful. mile and a half in on my hike we have the frozen lake the sun says it all <laughs> and supposedly this lake is the water supply for sunrise which is the um what visitor center that i started this hike at so that's pretty cool actually um that it's being fed by the mountains and the snow melting um that's how they get their water it's from this lake up here on this mountain. I I just cannot, I can't capture how absolutely amazing this is. I literally have a view of Mount Rainier the whole hike. Like you are seeing a volcano right in front of your eyes the whole time. But I'm not gonna give it away yet, guys. Stop asking. I'm keeping it for myself until the grand reveal. I thought before heading up that mountain, I would just sit here with a view of the mountain there and the amazing valley around me and have a little snack, a little luncheroo. I got a little lunch box, an adult lunchable. This is my first solo trip. I think my first time ever solo hiking. And yeah, at the beginning I was like a little hesitant about it, but now I feel like, I don't know, it's kind of fun to be able to, everybody was saying, when you solo travel, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. And now I'm realizing it. <laughs> On this hike, I can stop wherever I want. I can film whatever I want. I can take as much time as I want. I can breathe heavy and no one's judging me for being out of shape. It's awesome. <laughs> I am enjoying myself to the fullest. On this mountain. On this mountain. I don't know if you heard me. All right. Snack break is over. Can I get my hat, get myself packed up so that I can climb Mount Fremont. Here I come. <laughs> ready or not. <laughs> uh, ready or not for me, the mountain I'm sure is always ready. Me on the other hand. I'm gonna do great. It's gonna be excellent. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> I'm getting up this mountain no matter what. One of the best parts is all of the fresh flowers that are growing. The mountain flowers. Oh, they're purple and they're yellow and they're white and they're blue. All the colors and they're beautiful. I have a rare spotting. I have an iPhone. That's what I'm filming everything on. So. It's digital zoom, not great, but I want to show you this. Down below in the valley, if I zoom in with my not so great zoom, you can see a bunch of wild mountain goats hanging out in the valley. They're, they're wild, look at how many of them are. And this is their home. The luckiest goats ever. Do they even know how lucky they are? It's wild. This is wild. Coming around the bend and it's getting windier and I can see my destination on the very tip right there. <laughs> That's the fire lookout. I 
made it to the top. It is absolutely gorgeous up here. When I first arrived, the clouds weren't all over the mountain like they are now. I got a few shots of it, but how beautiful is Mount Rainier? I've made it. I am at the fire tower. There's a cot in here for someone to sleep on. A little uh, stove top. Actually, I'm not sure if they still use this. There's a sign below, I'll have to look. But man, the views from up here. Mount Rainier is just around the corner there. All the clouds have accumulated around it, unfortunately. But the whole hike that I had, it was clear. And so I got to enjoy it, but man, if this was my job, I would love it. I would stay up here. It is gorgeous. And in Washington, the green is just unreal. Look at that green. How is that real? It is absolutely gorgeous. Washington State is beautiful. If you come here, I would say come here specifically to do this hike. If you come to Washington and you miss this hike, you're stupid. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But man, this is an amazing hike. 10 out of 10, I would do it again. 100% going to do it again. So at first I was really hesitant about coming out here alone, um, doing a hike by myself. Excuse me, fly. <laughs> it surprises me. It surprised me. It made me think um, I feel stronger. I feel more confident that I can do this again. Um, baby steps because traveling solo is something that I do plan on doing and want to do in the future. And so this is just a step towards that. And man, it couldn't have gone any better. I haven't walked back down the mountain. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm so glad I came out here. I'm so glad that I did this solo. If you are a solo male or a solo female, do things alone and enjoy yourself. I'm learning that that is a great way to live life to the fullest. So I hope that you enjoyed coming out here on this hike with me. I absolutely love sharing my home state of Washington with you and exploring it myself. I have never been here. I don't even know that I've been in Mount Rainier National Park, but now I have my pass and there are so many more things I wanna do here. I hope you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I'm just gonna wing it. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I hope you're gonna like it. Bye guys. Windy, but look at where I'm filming today. That's Mount Rainier. This is an amazing valley. That's the hike I'm going up the mountain on. Oh, right there. And this is a frozen lake that the little town gets its water reservoir from. What? I am filming a video here today. My first solo hike all by myself. What? Ah, ah. I don't even know what to do with myself. Like I'm used to being around people being like, look at this, look at that, it's amazing. But to myself, I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, I wanna do this every weekend.